We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers, killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. Makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Look, look, you'll see. Give me that rock. I'll show you. So, uh, uh, yes, uh, of course. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. But, but I want to hear it squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. Sorry, Mum. I'll open the cage for you. Good. Now they die. So be it. We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers. Killed Dink and Mint too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wall. We're juicing it up. The beast came in here with those robbers. Killed Dink and Mince too. Boss is thinking of serving it to the wargs. And it makes funny noises. We made it squeal. Oh, you're also, uh, yes, uh, of course. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. Squeal. One, that's a true soul you're talking to. Show some respect. Sorry, Mum. I'll open the cage for you. Good. Now they die. Time for blood.
here we go again.
pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halson will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Parasites in your head. You mean you have one of them? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true souls are infected with them, someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles. But I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. No, this is... different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, True souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could, but there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you, but if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected.
Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drow in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. Be warned. My presence could make things more difficult. I can only restrain my bear form so much. I won't be able to help but attack goblins. If I join you, we'll likely have to slaughter this entire place. You may want to use discretion when approaching the goblin leaders. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Time to rest. The ringleaders have to die. The very natural order of things is in danger, thanks to them. Traveling to Moonrise is no small task. Expect dangers like you've never seen before. This is different. There's more fingers on a hand than there are survivors of that place. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. 
You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. speaks to me. Birds report what they've seen, and I've overheard goblins speaking of it too. Moonrise is at the heart of all this. I'm sure of it. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in this very temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers, through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers, and may bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. You'll need to pick up where Aradin left off. Find the hidden entrance. It's somewhere in these ruins, from what I've heard. Consider once you see the effects of the curse for yourself. Business there began long ago, and has led to a lifetime of regret. I helped overthrow Kethrick Thorm and his dark justice years, years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked. Yet. If I could join you and get close to Moonrise, Perhaps I could have both helped you find a cure for your infection and lifted the curse. But the grove must come first, I'm afraid. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aradin and his band. We didn't even get close. You will. Oakfather bless you. I'll be in your debt twice over if we succeed. You know what's needed. 
the deaths of Draw Ragslin, the Drow Minthara, and the Priestess Gut. May nature guide you. I could come and help you, but be warned. I won't be able to suppress my animal side. Subtlety will not be an option. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here.
Tricks, what's wrong with you? Let's pray to the Absolute for help. hasn't gone unnoticed. It's about to be returned in kind. Now this is my happy place. a shred of dignity to be found among them.
Nal Sukok, O Taishokek Dors! I command you, corpse. Speak! Reveal truth to the absolute! By Vlakith's blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga Nal Sukok! The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. You taste the ale on his tongue, and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. If it isn't a true soul devil. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, I'll call Dek Shulkok Hank. The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Raxlin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Raxlin's voice, you ask. Who killed you? Raxlin remains composed. If he senses your manipulations, he gives no sign. The creature responds, not in words, but memories. You see a clawed hand open a holding pod devoid of flesh, only darkness. Damn it! That tells me nothing! Raxlin remains ignorant to your presence in his mind, Merc. You choose your next question. by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of 
skip Yankee Dragon Riders. Silver blades held high. Control panels melting. Flesh pods spilled open. Give them a hunt. They know something. Suspicion floods Ragslin's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Who is... Who? You, your no true soul. Resists, flailing as you crawl into Ragslin's mind murk. Rage slithers through him, hot and black. It squeezes you, suffocates you. Boys, crush the heretic! down. I'm the boss. I'm the absolute right hand. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're a real true soul. I felt it. The corpse collapses. Silent once more. No. No! I'm not done! Riddles. All of it. And nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> the damned trow was right. K 
can't let her get all of that glory. Seems I ain't done with you. Report to the drow. Minthara's the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. <laughs>